Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben. I'm back again. And yes, I bought another bucket from Lynch Mining Paint Art. Uh, the one ounce bucket. I bought the American Freedom this time. It's basically the same thing, I think. Except that they give a little bit of money to uh, military people. So I thought I'd throw, you know, do that a little bit this time. Uh, I want to do an unboxing. I'm going to also give a little discussion today about why I did this. And... You know, I get a lot of uh, comments uh, below that, you know, say, oh, I wish I could do, uh, you know, get the bucket or whatever, because it is a load of fun, I got to say. And I want to talk a little bit about that and why I think it's a lot more in reach, uh, within reach uh, for a lot of people, if you, if you just take a little leap of faith on it. So we'll go through some of the numbers and we'll show you why I think it's a perfectly fine thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing just so you know what it's like when you first get this box. Now I've been sitting on this one for a week now because I've been crazy at work. But uh, we're going to unbox it with you right now so you'll see what your new bucket's going to look like. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. It's quite heavy. It's usually about 25 to 30 pounds. Uh, it comes in three-day priority mail. Yeah, I did open it because I had another bag in here uh, that I panned out uh, for a recent video. Um, so, cut, cut, cut. And this is what it comes like, y'all. It comes in a plethora, you like that word, plethora, of uh, popcorn that is totally, <laughs> totally full of static playing, and it will stick to everything, and you'll be sweeping this up for about a week, but, you know, whatever. So it comes packaged in this to protect it. It's got uh, very heavy-duty uh, uh, cellophane or, or, or PVC or whatever this is surrounding it. And let's see if we can get this thing out. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. No, don't be, go back in there. Go back in there. Okay, okay. So we contained most of it. There's still some here. All right, so this is what it looks like here. And this one, I don't remember my last one being shrink wrapped like this, but this is not gonna spill because even though my box, it says don't accept if the box is damaged. Mine was a little damaged, but I could, I could tell there was no problem with it. Uh, this is uh, extra heavy duty here, so uh, you're more than likely going to get all your dirt. It's going to be hard to break this thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And we'll show you what the dirt looks like. and If I can get it open. These things are sealed. Like, you got to be a safe cracker to open these little things. Now, it looked like the... Uh, shipping had gone up quite a bit i remember the shipping being 21 dollars and this time it was i don't remember what it was i'll have to look it up and put it in the comments but it was quite a bit more and i don't know if that's because of insurance or postage cost. i don't really know what that's about so it did increase the overall cost but like you can usually do you can get these on sale i think the regular price is 17.50 and you'll see that on other sites for their buckets as well but usually you can get this on sale for about $13.50, somewhere around that range. Price of gold still hovering around $1,300 an ounce, so not too bad. It's, bumped up, it's been bumping up and down a little bit lately, but that's kind of a good average. So here we go. Whoop. Can we hear all that gold in there? <laughs> all right. So I'll be sweeping this up for a while. Put that to the side. This is what it comes in. It's a Two and a half liter, um, two and a half gallon bucket. Uh, there's your American Freedom Pay Dirt. I'm just gonna get that up for you. That's what the label looks like. And the tricky part for me was opening this thing. We'll see if this one does not take superhuman strength or not. Oh shit, I think it's gonna. I don't know what they put these things on with or if they have like an incredible hole working for them that seals them. But I ended up breaking the last one, lock at least, just because it's so freaking hard to do. It's so tight. I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but I'm surely not a wuss either. And this thing's on there, man. I just wanted to show you the struggle is real, guys. Struggle is real. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
shit. Oh. Oh. I think it was going. So, if you're wondering, if I order this $1,300 worth of gold and dirt, is it going to be safe? Is it going to be safe from, from criminal actions and, and from damage in the middle? The answer is yes. <laughs> it's going to be. And of course, in lynch mining style, this probably took uh, 7 to 10 days to receive. Once it's mailed, it just takes a few days. I'm just running this man. I want you to see what it's like. You're not gonna feel like paying it when you open this thing. Alright, alright. Alright, hang on, get some gloves. It may help a little bit, get some grip, and not be so painful. Ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna be sore more than this. Oh. I don't even remember how I opened this last time. I think I just did this for like 30 minutes until something snapped. Oh, that snapped right there. There we go. So this is worthless because it's on there so freaking tight. Oh. I may not have to keep burning this. I may have to pause it, guys. Woo! I'm out of shape. It's, damn. Oh, yeah. Busted it. Woo, mom. All right. Oh. And there's your dirt. There's your dirt. As usual, the dirt is always very moist. They don't dry it out. I hate these things, but you know, they come in dirt. But this is lynch mining dirt. As you can see, it's, it's real dark because, watch out, Bob. It's real dark because, uh, because it's very moist. And I guess they just, when you get an order, they go dig it out of the ground. I don't really know how they do it. Uh, trying to find a little bit of sparkly just hanging around but I'm gonna probably go pan this out today because it's so beautiful it's 80 degrees there's not a cloud in the sky and there's a nice cool breeze and we've been having rain for like three months here in, in uh, Louisiana so I'm gonna go do some of that and I'm gonna come back and finish this video we'll go through some of the numbers and I'll give you some of my discussion I'm not gonna do an actual pay dirt review in this video uh, this is more of my opinion and, and, and discussion on why I chose to do this again, why it might be a cool idea for you to do. So if you want to hear those thoughts and comments, I suggest you stick around. There's going to be more. Of course, I'll do a review on this uh, once we get through doing some of the panning on it. But uh, it's been great watching me struggle, I'm sure. So <laughs> we'll see you soon, guys, and uh, we'll be back with some numbers and some discussion. Take care. Guys, I uh, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the mathematics and the logic of using uh, or purchasing uh, a larger bucket like uh, like one of these mining buckets. There's other companies that sell large buckets too. Uh, the reason I'm high on this one is because they're always on sale, so they're generally cheaper and they're generally a better investment of your money. So what I want to take, want you to take a look at, I'm going to pull this up. This is their uh, website. Uh, if you look, this was the, the original bucket that I 
purchased uh, on the last video. It was a Lynch mining pit or bucket, unclassified. 1460, I believe it was 1380 then, with a like a $21 shipping uh, charge, and it may, may maybe it is still that I don't know. But this time I went with the American Freedom Pay Dirt, and as you can see, it's 1380, which I what I think the old bucket was. I don't know why they're different prices now. It's the same amount of gold, same amount of dirt. But this one gives you a few bucks back to the military. I'm good with that. So this is what we're looking at. The shipping was $64. Like I said, the last shipping was 21. I don't know if that was just, I know the postage went up, but it didn't go up that much. So I don't know if that was insurance, postage, or just an extra surcharge or tagging on top of that. So it was 1380 plus 64. And uh, that gives you 1,444 dollars. Now, if we look at Kitco, on the day I purchased it, which was like February 21st, the price of gold was 1331 per ounce. Today, it's 13, well, it was 1321 earlier, 1320. So it's about $10 less today than it was when I purchased it. Well, if you're going to sell it and it's going down, just wait. It's going to go back up again. That's gold. It's generally been in the same, within the same $100, $150 for the last, gosh, since probably 2011. And so it's pretty much, it's pretty stable. You just want to catch it on the, on the upflows when you're selling it and on the downflows when you're buying it. But if you look at Kitco, you'll see it's 1320 uh, an ounce right now. And let's see, 1320 divided by 31.1, that's $42.44 per gram. It's been within a dollar of that a lot recently so that's a pretty good average uh, price so if you paid 1444 and the price of gold is 1320 then you paid 124 dollars for an entertainment fee now you're talking about a bucket that you're gonna do at least I don't know six to seven large panning sessions with this and by panning session for me I take a garden scoop a, a trowel or whatever and put a good five to six scoops generous scoops uh, into a pan and that's what I pan from so you're gonna probably get five to seven of those sessions per bucket okay so if you divide that 124 let's say divided by six you're looking at about twenty dollars and sixty six cents per session So if we had a one gram bag of gold, which was $65 with shipping, which is kind of average, you're going to be getting about $42 worth of gold. So you're going to be spending about $23, which is even more, for that one gram of gold. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? Now, granted, you got to do that. It's fun. You want to mix up different pay dirts and all that. But when you can get large amounts of gold, in every panning session, which is, I know, very unnatural, but it's fun as hell to see that much. When you can get that and you can get six to seven panning sessions out of a bucket, well, I mean, then you're looking at, uh, let's see, 124 divided by six. Uh, that was, uh, we just did that. It was 20, it was less than $21 per session. Now, each session, if you look at 31.1 grams divided by six, you're looking to get an average of about five grams of gold per session. So it's about five times more gold. So it's a lot more in each pan uh, for this about the same amount of price of entertainment fee. And like I said, I, you know, I don't go through one of these buckets in a day or two. That would be not only foolish because you just wasted it all, but it would be painful for your neck and shoulders to be panning that much dirt out in one to two days. I might do one to two panning sessions per week, depending on how much time I have, etc., etc. So this bucket might last me a month to six weeks. So you're talking about a long $123 entertainment fee spread out over four to six weeks. That's pretty good. And your return on investment is decent as well. Now, if it's $13.20 for an ounce of gold times 0.85, 
That's the minimum you're going to get if you cash in the school. That's 1122 minus 1444. That means you might spend 320 bucks if you get the lowest amount of recovery payback. And that and uh, that would be like if you went to Gold Hog, they pay 85% a spot. The good thing is they don't care about your purity. So that doesn't even matter. You're guaranteed 85% of the gold you send in. Now you might have to send in five grams or, or 15 grams. I forget they have a minimum now. But no matter what, you're gonna get that for sure. So you're looking at most spending 320 bucks on something that's gonna last you four to six weeks. Now, if the purity's good, you can sell to a metal refinery. If the purity, I think they're looking for 22 to 24 carat. I think you can get away with 22 and if that's the case, you can get 95% a spot with some refineries. So you're looking at a whole lot more money. Um, 20 times 0.95, you're looking at 1389 minus 1444. The difference is 54 bucks. So you're looking at spending 54 bucks. So let's say you're spending anywhere from 50, 55 bucks to 320 bucks. You know, uh, minus 320, divided by 2. Let's say we're spending an average. If we average that out, it comes to about $187 for your entertainment fee over a long period of time and with huge amounts of gold in every panning session and in every pan, pretty much, in every classification. Now, I, I told you I wasn't going to film the the gold painting that I was going to do because there's too much of it per bucket and I was going to show you at the end but I did I lied I ended up I did film this first painting session because there was so much freaking gold and I'm going to show you it was it was over like eight grams of gold in this okay there were three large pick I know actually I would say there are three small nuggets they were definitely nuggets and so it was exciting to see all that. There's a lot of plus 10 gold, a lot of bigger gold. So it was really enjoyable. The reason I bring this up is if you have the money, I've been fortunate to have a career where I, I make a decent amount of money. Now I'm in a job transition, transition, so things have gotten quite a bit tighter for me. And so will I buy another one right, you know, pretty soon? Probably not. I got to see what my inflow and outflow looks like. Right now, it's not that great. But I did right before I left my job because I figured, what the hell? You know, I might spend 100, 200 bucks on something that's going to last me a long time and I have a whole lot of fun. That's worth it to me. And I can turn around and sell this and get at least 85% a spot. At least. Okay? I might be able to get more than that depending on the purity of the gold. Now, I have smelted gold before and I promise you, it's not as easy as it looks on, on YouTube and stuff. I ended up going through about 10 different methods to try to figure out how to smelt this stuff. Because on YouTube, uh, they just, and like two minutes later, it's melted. Well, I use a map torch just like they did. That didn't happen for me. No, man. I had to get charcoal in a pit with a hair dryer. And you know I don't have hair dryers laying around. So I had to get a hair dryer, put it on a cool setting, and blow it into those coals and then put the clay crucible on top of that and then cook the map gas on top of that to get it to finally smelt into a gold button. Now that gold button looks pure to me, but I haven't tested it. I need to get a gold testing kit. They're only like 20 bucks. I just haven't really seen the need for it, but I guess this might show us a need because if I can get an extra 10% of spot, well, if you're looking at 13, 20, an ounce, 10%, that's 132 bucks per ounce. So yeah, I guess that's worth getting a $20 gold kit. So that will be next on my list to purchase. My point is, if you have the money to spend extra, don't put it on credit cards, don't spend your food or your rent money, that's just, that's just foolish, guys. But if you have more than that amount in your savings account and you want to spend it on something that you're going to enjoy and you're going to get a lot of uh, time out of a lot of entertainment out of and it's not going to break you or at least you can wait until you can turn around and sell it you're not going to be broke in that time period you've got a little bit of floating cash then I would go ahead and do it it's fun if you haven't experienced it 
you need to experience it at least one time. I'm now experiencing it for my second time because I had so much fun the first time. So I encourage you to look at these things. Now there are other companies, and I said this earlier, there are other companies that have nugget buckets and gold buckets that guarantee the same amount of gold, and then may have it may be better gold, it may be more than they guarantee. I don't know because I haven't purchased them. Because they're about three hundred dollars more typically. Now if they go on sale, I'll purchase one. But I don't want to spend that much extra because then that really eats up eats up a lot of the fun, you know? And that's just you know when I'm spending that kind of money, that's just not how I want to do it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the panning results from this first session of this lynch mining bucket to show you why I bought the second one. And I think listening to my math and my logic and my results, seeing my results, I believe you may be more inclined to purchase one for yourself. If I've helped anybody reach, push you over that threshold, let me know. If not, then keep hanging around or save up your money. It might be a good thing to save up for because you're going to get so much gold out of it and so much fun. So here we go with the results and I hope you enjoy this discussion. Okay, I lied. I'm going to go ahead and, and review this one pan, but just to show you and what, not really to give you a critique or anything. So all you fools who, uh, who switched off because this wasn't a pan review, you're going to miss out. I want to show you why it's so fun to pan out this stuff. I just did my plus 10 classification. This isn't for the whole bucket. This is just for a few scoops, okay? I just did my plus 10 classification. And typically when I pan it out, I don't get anything because there's, things are so big, you can just pick them out. Guys, these aren't pickers. These aren't large pickers. These are nuggets. Look at that. Look at those things, man. They are beautiful. I got three of them in there. So that's why that's why I love doing this. And uh, we'll continue on. I'm going to go ahead and classify these out and show them to you. Okay, a lot again. There's actually more in this plus 10 that I didn't even see coming out. Let me just show you. So there we go. Let's put it all together. There's your plus 10. What? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The weigh-in. Guys, this is just from my first panning, which is take a little garden scoop and I put five or six scoops in a in a uh, in a pan. And classify it out and pan it out. So uh, that's basically how much this is. Uh, you saw some pictures earlier, and now we're going to weigh it in and see what came out. Actually, take these babies out ahead of time. Oh, hot. Hot. And, uh, ow, shit, that's hot. All right, now I'm going to weigh this. And this is why I like doing this. It's so fun. I mean, you're getting an obnoxious, unrealistic amount of gold, and that's just a wonderful thing. <laughs> that's what you want. You don't want natural stuff. All right. I feel like there's another little dot in there. So that's 3.227 grams. That's out of one little series of painting guys that's a lot of freaking gold and we haven't added the nuggets so BAM oops look at that man I'm making a mess hang on five grams six and a half grams eight grams of gold golly I hope I didn't use up the whole bucket eight grams of gold in just one panning, just six scoops. This was off the top of the bucket. Oh gosh, I hope there's more gold in there because that's like a third of the gold or a fourth of the gold. Anyway, uh, usually you'll get at least six or seven different sessions out of this. So 8.063 grams of gold out of that one thing, uh, one afternoon. That's exciting. That's a lot of gold. Like you could make some teeth or a chain with that. So let's take this off and let's add, let's see what each of these nuggets are, man. Because they are beauties. Oh, let me just zero it out. 
So this one is 1.486. That's a big nugget, y'all. A gram and a half nugget. This is probably the, I guess, the smaller one. No, 1.518 grams. Another gram and a half nugget. I think this was the first one. I was like, what? 1.831 grams. Y'all, these are some honking nuggets, y'all. And that's what's fun. I mean, these are things you just pick them right out of the dirt. Uh, when you're classifying, you don't even have to pan them. Uh, you know, if I see gold, that's easy to get. I just pick it out. No point in panning it. So that's what we're looking at. Just in nuggets, we're looking at 4.838, I'm sorry, 4.836 grams of gold nuggets in that one little plus 10 session. Uh, and there was more gold in the plus 10 too. This was just the nuggets that were easy to find. So that's a lot of freaking gold. And you can get sessions of panning like this almost every time. It's going to be a little variance, of course, but you're always getting a lot of gold. So that's a good time. So uh, we'll go ahead and put this in, the, in its own jar, and then we'll weigh out the whole bucket later when we're done with it. But uh, And I'm going to keep these nuggets separate. I'm going to sell these nuggets, man. That's, those are big nuggets. So uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and put these aside, and we'll just keep adding to the jar as we pan out this bucket. And we'll do an actual review coming up after we're done with this. I just want to include this so you guys can understand why I took a risk, why I spent the money to get another bucket. So we'll see you soon. <laughs>